Here everyone in this particular lecture we are going to learn about that how to sort a list alphabetically and also filter it based on the user input right so let's jump in and see that how we can make it happen right so this is the basic HTML and the CSS part right in the HTML uh, I have made a heading on it right after that I'm having an input field whose type is text ID is search input right after that I'm having a button and a unordered list inside of this we are having the list item like this right so let's see that how it is looking because I have also applied a little bit CSS here also right so let's see so this is how it is looking right now I want that when I write something inside this input tag like a I want all the item which are having a should get filter out here right and when I click on this sort alphabetically button then all the list item should get what should get in a proper sorted manner right so yeah this is what we are going to create today so let's go with the script.js file and start the functionality right so you can see here uh, I'm having uh, first that we are have get, uh, getting all the elements so for that uh, we use the document dot get element by ID right and we have taken the search input sort button and my list you can see it from here right search button search input and my list inside of which I'm having all the list items right yes so uh, now our first task is to filter the as per the user types right so user type and dynamically the all the list items should get filtered out right so yeah uh, so it is uh, very easy to make you just need a little bit understanding about the concept right so let's do it so first of all we will take the search input search input dot add event listener right and then input like this we are going to take the event as input right yeah now comma let's create the arrow function here like this and inside this we'll write const filter value equals to search input dot value dot value dot to lower case I want all the values which the user is typing into the lower case right so yeah like this now after that a uh, const const uh, list item equals to my list dot get element by tag name right we are going to use tag name to get the element and that tag is what li list so we are going to take all the list items right this particular with the help of this li tag right so yeah after that what we will do we will uh, use array that is array dot for sorry array dot from bracket and then list items right dot for each means we are taking the array from list items right all the elements and then applying for each to get the retrieval of all the items one by one right and then item here and inside of it inside of it we are going to create the main logic which is what which is const text equals to item dot text content text content dot to lower case means uh, in our basically okay, let me write it first dot to lower case right so whatever the item is written inside the list item like you can see either banana or apple so you can see the first letter uh, is capital right so yeah so we are going to convert it into the lower case first right because we uh when the user is inputting something at that time also we are use uh, converting it into the lower case just to maintain the functionality and the logic right so item dot style dot display equals to text dot includes what filter value right so if the text in 
exclude the filter value in that case you make the display right since if it is false right if it is false then display will be obviously none otherwise uh, you show it right so that's why we are going to write it here that whether it is true or not if it is true in that case you just keep it blank else else do what else make it none like this got it yeah now coming forward this is the functionality which we have developed and it is completely working if you want to see i can show you also uh, let's reload it and see that whether it is working or not so i will write b because you can see the b is in capital right so i am going to write it in small b you can see banana is sorted even after it is capital letter because while applying the functionality this b got converted into a small letters and then it is uh, came into the sorting part right yeah now even if you write anything like uh, let's say 8 then 8 is present in what date right only that's why it is present only here now we are going to create the functionality for the sort of alphabetically button also so let's do that also so for this uh, what we need we need a sort button right sort button dot add event listener the event is click right and the function here let's create an arrow function and inside of this const list items list items this should be n right const list item equals to array dot from and inside this from we will write my list dot get element get element by tag name so we are again using the tag name to get all the li list right so yeah uh tag name get element by tag name yeah now inside of this we'll write li that is list got it now after that list items dot sort inside of this we'll write a comma b and then we will write what a dot text content dot to sorry local compare local compare and that is with b dot text content like this right so we are sorting it as per the indexes right so yeah. after that uh, clear the list and append the sorted list that's what we want so i am doing what my list dot inner html equals to what just keep it blank just remove all the elements and then list items dot for each that is items item and here we will write my list dot append child i'm appending all the things which you have had actually which we have actually like sorted right so that's why i'm writing item right so list item has all the elements we are appending it into my list right one by one those items right so let's see that whether it's working or not so this is a uh, unsorted manner b a c d e and when i click on it you can see it got sorted the apple is in top then b for banana c for cherry d for date and e for elder elderberry right so this is the main logic for sorting and this is the logic for filtering out and this is the logic for getting all the elements i hope you understood the concept very clearly if you do then make sure that you hit the like and subscribe button thank you so much for watching